It's very meta. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching myself in 3D. I'm shooting a VR film to highlight the free solo experience. So I'm teaming up with the Swiss alpinist Nicholas Hojak, who will be my tour guide around the Alps. I think it's surprisingly realistic, and that's why I did the project. That's why I like the project. I mean, I think that the VR experience is as close as you can get to the actual free soloing experience. And part of what I love about the VR film is that I feel like viewers experience the the positive side of free soloing, like the things that I love about it. I think that that a lot of the time when people film free soloing, uh, you know, in two dimensions, <laughs> instead of in, like in conventional documentary filmmaking, people focus more on, on the negative side of it. Like, you know, what happens if you fall? Is it scary? Like, you know, what if you die? All that kind of stuff. But I feel like with the VR experience, it's not ramped up at all. You know, there's no music, there's no like quick cuts to like different things. It's like, you're just watching the scene unfold. It's like, I think that the VR experience is, is closer to the real, like how it feels to be there. I mean, the thing with free solo was was cutting edge rock climbing. I mean, it's like one of the hardest free solos ever. It's like, it was, you know, it's like a milestone in climbing, basically. And, and something that I thought about for many, many years, I've worked on for many years. <clears throat> with, the, with the VR filmmaking, everything that I solo in the film is, is hard. You know, I mean, it's like things that haven't been done before and it's like things that are interesting, but it's not like cutting edge. It's not the absolute limit of what's been done. But that sort of, important because you just wouldn't be able to film vr on cutting edge climbs like that and so to to film in vr requires a degree of comfort with with the terrain like you have to be able to kind of move up and down and like deal with things you know because it's it's like a relatively slow process to film i think we found a really nice middle ground of objectives that are hard enough for me to feel proud of and, and interested in you know things that, that i think are cool and that still look totally insane in VR and are still, you know, I mean, things that, that haven't been done before.